Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing an exciting reference from Daniel Roth, launched back in 2002. This is the Torbjorn 8 Day. Of course, Daniel Roth was a creator for reggae under the Shomei brothers in the 70s and 80s, and in 1989, he went off on his own, launched Daniel Roth Watches, and continued to run it through 1994, when the combined Daniel Roth and Gerald Genta companies were sold to Hourglass, which is a well-known East Asian watch vendor. Well, in 2000, both of them were sold again, this time to Bulgari. And so it was under Bulgari ownership that this model launched and continued in production through the rest of the decade. In rose gold, you can see it retains the original Roth-designed Ellipso Curvex case. Rose gold, 41 millimeters wide, in thickness 13.1, and from lug to lug, 48.9 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw the watch on my wrist, and you can see that it wears quite large for a 41. Really, you need to think of this as about a 43 millimeter round watch to get the right idea. It will fit underneath most cuffs. It's got a bit of a stepped and sloped case flank, but I'd recommend a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference or larger to wear this well. The Torbjorn's always been a signature piece for Roth the brand and the man, and of course his first watch under his own name was a Torbjorn in the Ellipso Curvex case, and so this is an evolution of that, but it's still based on the La Magna 387 Torbjorn base movement that Roth designed for Breguet during the 80s, so while the watch is La Magna derived, the movement is still Daniel Roth's own. Getting a little bit closer, you can see that the strap is brand correct, and by the way, all of these watches are still serviceable through Bulgari, which has relaunched the Daniel Roth brand for 2023, but you've always been able to send a Genta or a Roth in for service to Bulgari to get parts and attention, so no worries about that. Daniel Roth with a stepped rose gold pin buckle, and then the lug profiles welded on. You could see that these lugs were inserted into the case flank and then welded on, made as separate parts, and then joined together. This is a slow and laborious and very traditional way of making a case. It is artisanal. It requires a great deal of skill, but the result is these super sharp breaks between lug and case. Now the case is a rounded off polygon. The lugs are squared off on their end, but you can see the squared off ends are angled inward. And then we have a dial comprised of two different pieces. And I believe both inner and outer dial are lacquered. Some sources say enameled, but I wasn't able to see the characteristic orange peel that you generally see on enameled surfaces. So I think these are just very nicely white lacquered. There is a rose gold bezel that separates them at center, and you can see it's been pinned with polished pins. We have three concentric scales for reading of the seconds, and you can see we have three spokes, each of a different length, to indicate the correct current second. At center, we have triangular index hands with baton profiles. And then we have that glorious tourbillon. You can see that it is a one minute tourbillon beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is free sprung for durability and precision of adjustment. And the finish here is surpassing. You can see that the bridge for the tourbillon has been continuously rounded and black polished all the way around. And so have the roughly hyperboloid shaped columns that hold up the bridge. The tourbillon carriage itself beveled on its edge and black polished on its top. All screw heads black polished on their tops, chamfered on their slots and circumference. There's solarization under the tourbillon platform. And then you can see around it, engine turned pyramid, which is a lovely and deep fashion of the pyramid design. You can see the gradients of color from one facet to the other as I move it through the light. Perhaps I should say shading, not color. Now on the back of the watch, Nothing particularly exciting. Well, not initially, anyway. What happens is you pull on a little trigger, and then the case folds open. You can see the hinge is integral to the lugs at the top, and you can see exactly what you've paid for. This movement has twin barrels, six position adjustment, 25 joules, a one minute three hertz free sprung tourbillon, and hidden on the case back, we have a radial date and we have a digital indication of the days of power reserve remaining. You can see this is caliber DR5300. 
and I'll wind the watch so you can enjoy the progression of the power reserve indicator from the twin mainspring barrels. You can see how that works, driving past and digitally displaying the number of days remaining. You can also see that the base plate is media blasted, that the wheels all feature satination, all screw heads as with the front are black polished and chamfered. We have solarization on the ratchet wheel off to the left and you can see the springs have been satinated on their top and then beveled on their sides. And then this rose gold scale in the center the figure eight style counter representing eight days of power reserve. Get it? That's the joke. And then all the steel parts on the back, you can see they've been satinated across their top and micro beveled on the side, which is very difficult to do. And this all has a 30 meter water resistance. You don't want to take it swimming. It's standard splash only dress watch water resistance. A lovely piece from a brand whose stock is on the rise, returning to the fray after Approximately a decade away, there were still 10-year Roth watches coming out in 2015, but the brand had been defunct since then. It's great to see Roth coming back, and it's coming back with a tourbillon, as any Daniel Roth tourbillon is iconic of the brand. And this is a great way to delve deep into its heritage and put some of that heritage on your wrist. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.